is up you guys, it's Nacho here, and as you guys can tell from the title of this video, today I'm going to be doing an app review over the app Netflix. Um, Netflix in the App Store is free, the app itself is free, but the service that you pay through with your credit card or debit card, uh, however you prefer to pay, is the cheapest, I think is $7.99 a month, and it goes up depending if you guys want like to rent DVDs and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the app itself, if you do have the service, is free, um, and if you don't have the service, you can actually try Netflix for free for a month, so just go to the website sign up and you guys can try this app and try it out for yourselves but um when you first open up the app netflix as you guys can see it gives you basically what you've been watching all your recently watched stuff as it says continue watching um there is a problem right here with netflix that i don't really like on the ipod or iphone when you touch it and you scroll it kind of sometimes it like goes really wacky and it seems to just like go crazy like when you barely touch it it'll like endlessly scroll it's really glitchy well right here the scrolling i don't know why it's like that but as you can see it's really well organized it tells you all this stuff you know it gives you your top 10 that you that they think will fit you best on what you should watch um, and it just separates everything into really, as you can see right there, it just went crazy. crazy. Um, it just really separates everything into really uh, good categories. It makes it really easy on you to find stuff that you're looking for. As you can see, critically acclaimed movies. And then you just keep scrolling like Louie because we've been watching that show. And, you know, it's a really, really great app. It really does. It on th This app itself is a really, really great thing. Um, I want to show you guys a key feature that I think is really great that makes this app amazing. So when you first open up this app, as you can see, all the way at the top, it'll say resume. This will be the last show that you watched on the Netflix account, and what I really like about this is that I was watching this on my PlayStation 3 last night because I have this hook, I have my Netflix account hooked up to my PlayStation 3 also, and the app will remember exactly where you left off on the PlayStation 3, so like let's say you didn't finish the episode but you want to continue it on your iPod Touch or iPhone, you can just click resume, and then I click it, and then give it a little bit to load. And this does work both on the 3G network, 4G, and Wi-Fi, whatever you're running. Obviously, this is an iPod Touch, so I'm running Wi-Fi. And then it'll take you into the widescreen mode. And I'm just going to let it load up to show you guys that the videos do load up. I don't want to show too much of it because, you know, YouTube is with all these copyright strikes and all that kind of stuff. Um... My internet's really shitty, but surprisingly, Netflix doesn't really take tremendously long to load. Um, usually, on my, on my shitty internet, it would take forever to load. And let me just slide this up. It's really hard to do that to the camera. And then... As you can see, it just leaves off exactly where I left off on my PlayStation 3, like with 9 minutes left. All that stuff, it's really great, and if you wanted, you could turn on subtitles. Um, let me see if this show has any, actually. Done. And there you go. Um, the subtitles are helpful. I mean, I don't really like them just because I can basically understand what they're saying without subtitles, but I guess it would be helpful if the option is there, you know, in case you need it or something. You know, the option is there, so I just felt like I wanted to show you guys that. And you guys get the b basic gist of it, and then when you click done, it closes. Wait for that to close. And then down here at the bottom of the app, you have these different categories. You have your genres, your search, and your instant queue. So basically, your genres are basically just what it says. Um, it basically just categorizes everything for you. Like, let's say you wanted to watch something specifically. Like, let's say you want to watch a comedy. You would just click on your little comedy tab. And then it would load up basically all everything that's comedy, and you could just pick and choose what you wanted. Now, occasionally, it will say not available for some of these, and like um, under here. And what that basically means is that it's only available through the DVD service. If because I only paid for the instant stream, so I only pay seven ninety nine, and I'm not allowed to get DVDs. So when it says not available, that's basically what it will mean by um by the uh, DVD thing. That means that you can only get it through the DVD and it's not available for you to instant stream. But as you can see, it basically just categorizes everything for you. If you guys want to watch like a comedy, you can just watch one of these. It doesn't really matter. You can load more titles. And then you can go to your search option in case you want. You have something in mind that you already want to watch. You could just search it up here. Um, I'm personally a really, really huge fan of The Office, so we're just going to search that up really quickly. And it's really hard to do this through the camera, so I do apologize if I'm kind of like bobbing it back and forth, guys. But, um... Just click done, and there you go. It shows up the office, and then you can just play all the episodes that you like, and that's basically it. And the last and final option that is with this app is the Instant Queue. Now, basically, the Instant Queue is the first thing you see on your Netflix when you log on to it, basically on your Wii, your PlayStation, or your Xbox, wherever you have this thing hooked up. This is all the stuff, basically, that's the easiest for you to find if you don't want to search around for it and you like these shows. Um, you can basically just put on your Instant Queue, and then everything will be here. 
Now, I do share this with a couple other people. Some of this, some of this stuff on this instant queue isn't mine. Um, How I Met Your Mother is mine. I love that show. And also Lost. Those are some pretty good shows. Um, but overall, this is a really, really great app. If you guys do pay for the Netflix service, I do recommend you get this on your iPhone, your iPod Touch, anything. It's really great. Um, if you're ever bored and you just want to watch some TV shows or some movies, you know, just kick back, relax, and watch it. Um, and the video playback quality is actually really good. Um, so I guess that's it, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys thought you the app review was pretty helpful. Um, and if you guys don't have Netflix, be sure to go check out the free trial. You can get this actually for free for a month. Try out the app, see if you like it, and then you guys can actually start paying for Netflix if you guys actually do enjoy it. But other than that, thanks you guys for watching. This is Nacho. Peace out, guys.